Well, for many children, Sunday school is the place where they first hear about Jesus. But not five-year-old Brittany. She learned about Jesus in her hospital room where she saw him in person. Brittany Baconhaster was a precocious three-year-old. She knew Bible scripture. She was singing in church all by herself. Just loved life, full of life. That all changed one morning when her mother, Jamie, heard a strange noise coming from Brittany's room. Like a gurgling, like a can't breathe, struggling noise. I immediately just picked her up and said, oh God, touch her. Brittany was having a grand mal seizure. Her parents rushed her to the doctor and Brittany was diagnosed with epilepsy, a condition all too familiar to Jamie. I understood it because I had them myself. So I thought she'd be just like me. I'd get her on medicine and everything would be all right. It wasn't that simple. Brittany's doctor started her on the first of many medications, but the seizures just got worse. She couldn't set up and she couldn't look at me to focus. And when I call her name, she was just totally out of it, just totally gone. As a mother, you feel so responsible. You, they're, they're your flesh, they've, they've lived in you. And, and when she would pull at me to help her, and I couldn't. I blame myself a lot. You know, I thought, why are I giving my daughter this sickness? Over the course of the next two years, Brittany's illness took its toll on her parents. Physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, even financially. Uh, one bottle of medication would cost $50, and we couldn't afford it. She needed 24 hour a day care. I mean, there was, it didn't matter if it's night or day, the seizures continued. Brittany had to wear a helmet to protect her head from injury, while her parents turned to God's word for comfort. God gave me my promise. In Psalms 37, four and five, he said, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. God said, don't look at what you see, look at what you don't see. Tell me and speak what you want. I put her in the car and I started down the road and I ended up at a school playground. And um, I said, God, that's what I want. I want my little girl back, normal, like those kids I see that's running and playing. And he said, it will come to pass. The doctors, on the other hand, gave a different report. She had been in the hospital for almost three weeks and they had tried everything. They ran one more brain wave, and they said her whole brain's seizuring. So we can't even take out the part of the brain or put a shunt in or to help her. There's nothing else we can do. They just said, uh, just let her go home where she'll be more peaceful in her own bed. I just knew she was close to death. And I thought, Lord, it's not time because you said that he would bring it to pass. Jamie spent a sleepless night praying for her daughter's recovery. That morning, Brittany began to speak. She kept saying, Jesus, Jesus. And I could tell by the look on her face and her eyes that well, she's responding and she hasn't responded or talked to me for a good year at all. So, you know, when she could look at me and describe Jesus, you know, with um, eyes like fire and the bright lights and the angels. Who could tell a five-year-old child that? I knew that she had encountered Christ. When they took Brittany back to the doctor. They were amazed. They just looked at her and pretty much just said the same thing, that uh, we see the healing in her eyes. And uh, they knew that they just, one of the nurses said it's a higher power. And I said, yeah, it's Jesus, he healed her. A couple of months after Brittany was healed, Jamie began having headaches. My doctor thought it was just the stress I went through. But every time I'd take my medicine, my headaches would, would be stronger. Jamie's neurologist performed an EEG and found out why. He said, a miracle's taken place. Your brain waves now clear. Would you like to come off your medicine? And uh, sure enough, I did. And I uh, have been seizure free and drug free for uh, 18 years. Brittany is now in college studying to be a psychologist. 
She still loves to sing in church. The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. And she still remembers her encounter with Jesus Christ. Just had the glory of God shone upon him, and um, the angels were all around him, front, behind, everywhere. There was angels, and um, you just—it was just wonderful. You just felt so peaceful and so at ease, and. I, all I can say is there's nothing like it, and I've never experienced anything like it on this earth. Today, both Brittany and her mother are completely healthy. I had heard from God, and God kept His promise. And He will, and He does. You think Jesus Christ doing house calls, and here He is <laughs> touching that girl. Never see anything like it on this earth. But is He real? Yes. And will He heal you? Yes. Does he love you? Yes. Will he answer your prayers? Absolutely. Here are a couple of other reports, and then we want to pray for you. Today could be your day. Well, Pat, this is mm. Diane. She lives in America's Georgia. For six years, she endured night sweats that were so bad that they caused her to wake up every morning soaking wet. One day she's watching this program, and the Lord gave you a word of knowledge, and you said, somebody has night sweats. You're exhausted. You will not have that condition anymore in the name of Jesus. She said she knew the word was for her, and from that day on, she has not had another bout with night sweats. Praise God. Here's another one, Terry. J Jesse of... Madison, Wisconsin, developed carp carpal tunnel syndrome in one wrist. She received regular cortisone shots and she wore a wrist brace. And one day she began watching this program and she heard you, Terry, give a word of knowledge about somebody unable to use a hand because of carpal tunnel. She said, God is restoring to you right now. That's what you mm -hmm. said. And Jesse claimed the word and felt tingling in both arms. The pain left her hand and wrist and she was immediately able to flex, flex her wrist without discomfort. Mm. Folks, with God all things are possible. With Him nothing is impossible. So why don't we ask Him right now? Why don't we ask Him for you? Why don't we believe God for you? So Terry and I are going to join hands together and we're going to trust the Lord. Father, we come before you and we thank you for miracles. Jesus, we thank you for visiting that little girl's bedroom and bringing healing to her. You came accompanied by angels. Oh, God, one day we're going to see you in your glory with all the heavenly host around you coming on the clouds of glory. Lord Jesus, may our eyes be upon you and may we behold you of what is going to happen we know in the not too distant future we will behold you. But right now, Lord, there are people in this audience who are suffering. They're hurting. There's one person, Lord, who has a liver problem, and it's very serious, and they need, they need a liver transplant, and Lord, you're going to heal them. And there are others who have lung conditions that are just uh, wasting them away. Somebody, Lord, has a fungus in their lungs, and they need healing in the name of Jesus. And there's someone who has splitting headaches, Lord, like a band around their head, and you're going to heal them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, my brothers and sisters, receive the power of God in your life. Be made whole. There's and somebody Terry, else. Yes. You have a, um, a spinal condition. You've actually had surgery on it. It's somewhere between the bottom of your... The, your um, head and, and just beyond your shoulders. God is realigning that and literally creatively restructuring it. No more pain, no more problems. And somebody else, even as you were hearing that carpal tunnel word, you have uh, been diagnosed with arthritis in your hands, rheumatoid you, arthritis, and that pain is just going to ebb away and be gone in Jesus' name. Somebody's choking right now. You're mm -hmm. choking. and This is a manifestation of demonic power. And the name of Jesus has upset that demon, and he is coming out now. In Jesus' name, Spirit, we command you, loose this woman in Jesus' name. You'll be free. Give him praise. Give him glory. Somebody else, you have a chronic yes. food allergy. It just affects so many aspects of your body, and it's just gone now in Jesus' name. Someone with a blood condition, it's like an infection in your blood, and, and uh, God is just purifying your blood right now in a, in a miraculous way. You'll feel energy and all of those uh, diseases that you've had caused by that. 
Now, Lord, continue to bless people. Let your power be upon them. Those who are praying for their children, those who are praying for finances, those who are asking you for other things, grant their request, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Wherever you are, give God glory. If you need further prayer, we've got folks on the phone. You see that number, 1-800-759-0700. Why don't you call, and we'll be glad to uh, have people pray for you. But in the meantime, tell us what God's done. We'd love to hear from you. Terry?